Good day, SketchUp for Schools friends. Let's make a sweet play ship. Click up on the hamburger menu there and let's change the name to Play Ship. When you click OK, it'll say where do you want to put it. We always put ours in the SketchUp models area. You can create somewhere else if you want. Those save to the Google Cloud and they will be there whenever you need them. Choose the Select tool and we need to remove our buddy Mike. Mike's job is to give us a sense of the size of the objects that we draw in our model. Well, we are going to remove them right now by clicking the delete key on the keyboard. This right here is called the origin and I would like you to click the rectangle tool, let go of the button and then click the rectangle tool again and let go of the button. Go to the origin, notice the white box that tells you the origin, click and let go so you can move your hands to the keyboard and type eight with the foot symbol and then a comma and then six with the foot symbol and press enter it immediately makes a eight foot by six foot rectangle that we can play with choose the line tool and then click a second time for the line tool move your mouse along the top edge and you'll see a cyan midpoint marker Stretch that out along the red axis and type four feet and press enter. From that point, click back and connect one corner. And then from that point again, click back and connect the last corner. And then find the eraser tool and erase those inside lines. So we now have the basic shape of our ship. Our next tool is the amazing push pull tool. Click on the tool area and then choose it from our menu. Click the ship and release the mouse button so it's still adjustable. On the keyboard type 1.5 with the foot symbol and press enter and it'll immediately snap to that exact height. We need to select our entire object and a cool way is for us to click the select tool and then triple click. Simply click one, two, three times and your whole shape will be selected. With that completed, click on that origin and lift it up on the blue axis and type three with the foot symbol so that it snaps to three feet above our work area. SketchUp for Schools does not have an auto save, so remember whenever you see this red save icon, you should save your project. The Orbit tool lets us look underneath our shape, select Orbit, and then click and drag so you can see under the shape. I'm going to zoom in a little bit with the scroll wheel, and I want you to find the awesome Offset tool. When you click Offset on the edge, it gives you an adjustable uh, offset, and I want you to type one foot so that we have that one foot offset created. Select your orbit tool so we can look under the shape. Choose the move tool. Please note that in the next step we're going to use the modifiers, so watch the bottom of your screen to see what they are for your system. And then go to the center of that hull where it says on face. Click and let go. Tap control once, tap alt once, and you are in auto fold mode. You want to keep the blue line so that you're on the blue axis and you need to go down three feet. You can infer the three feet by going to the origin and then going back to the blue line so that it snaps. Once you've done that, make sure you click save before moving on. Awesome. Switch to that super cool orbit tool and let's drag downwards so we can see the top of our ship and we are going to create a new offset for our project. Click that offset tool, click the outer edge, and we are going to type three inches instead of feet for the first time. Do three and then the inch mark. Switch to the pencil tool and then find one of your long lines and move across it and find the cyan midpoint. Stay on your green axis and it automatically snaps across and you can cut your ship into two nifty pieces. With the ship divided in half, let's click the select tool, select the bow, 
switch to the push pull tool and let's push pull that down one foot. Make sure you type the foot marker and press enter to move on. Switch to the push pull tool and we need to extrude the cabin of our ship. Click and then click the control key so it starts a new extrusion and we want to extrude three feet. So type three feet and press enter to get your exact cabin size. Let's open up our ship using the offset tool. Click on that front face, making sure you've got it so it says on face and type three inches. At that point, click on the push pull tool and we want to push pull it through until it gets to the back edge. And if you touch the back corner with the red tip, it automatically cuts it out and you can orbit and see how awesome your ship has become. Choose your orbit tool and let's look at the top of our roof. I'm going to scroll out so I can see it a little better and switch to the line tool. Move the line tool across until you find that cyan midpoint marker and then use the red axis to connect it all the way to the back. Switch to the move tool and then on the move tool when you get to the midpoint of that line you can lift it up on the blue axis and type two feet and instantly have a cool roof on your ship. Let's orbit to the side and from the side let's offset this four inches. Find your offset tool, click your edges. If you accidentally click and it's not adjustable do the undo. I'm going to orbit a little more and look in again and now it's adjustable and I can type four inches so I get the perfect shape that I wanted. I am going to orbit again and then from the side I'm going to push pull that and I'm going to point the red tip at that corner so it totally offsets my shape. Do those exact same step steps quickly from the other side. Find your offset, make it four inches, do your push pull, and you can still put the red tip on that corner so it cuts out our awesome ship's cabin. Once complete, make sure you tap that save icon so it's stored in your Google Drive. orbit so that you can get a look at the front of your ship and let's create an awesome porthole using the circle tool. Click the front edge of your ship and type 6 and the inch marker so that you have a porthole with a radius of 6 inches. Double click our porthole to select it all, right click and choose make a component. Make sure you select cut opening and let's call it porthole. Select your newly created porthole, switch to the move tool, and check this out. If we hit control, it is in copy mode. If you go to the edge of the circle, it automatically snaps to the middle on your next move, and you can move over and quickly create a second porthole. Go back to that shape, click the center again, tap control another time, and we are making our third circle. Go to that center again click, control, another one, go to the edge, center, click, control, and make a fifth porthole super fast. And now I'm going to show you why components are so wicked cool. Double click so we can edit first porthole on our left side, switch to the offset tool, click on the outer edge, and type a one inch offset. The amazing thing about components is it happens to all of them at once. So now switch to the push pull tool and let's go to that ring. I'm scrolling in with the wheel and let's pull it out two inches. Let's also use push pull to pull the inside out one inch as well. Switch to your components and find your paint bucket and on the paint bucket we want glass and mirrors and pick one of the glass choices and then fill in that center window with whatever color you think is cool. 
let's go up to colors and let's also pick a color for our ship's porthole I'm gonna choose a gray and simply paint it so that my portholes all look the same color click the select tool and click outside your component to make it permanent let's click that red save button before moving on find your line tool and make sure you zoom in enough so that you do a straight line on the green axis don't connect to this point find the midpoint and do another straight line on the green axis switch to the push pull tool and push that down one foot making sure you put the foot symbol and press enter the ship in the bottom line up perfectly but check this out let's click that edge and go down three more inches and we're going to use this to make an awesome plank click on that new edge and bring it out to the face and then click on it again and bring it out two feet because who doesn't want to have a pirate ship where you can walk the plank looking good click that save button let's make our pirate ship look awesome by clicking on our materials scroll through the materials list you can collapse them so it's easier to find them and look for wood which is in alphabetical order select a wood paneling that you like and then click on each face to paint your ship I'm going to choose a color for my floor and I think I'm going to pick a burgundy color and do that for both floors. And then I'm going to pick a cool color for the rest of the building as well and paint it too. By now you know the drill. Our pirate ship playhouse has reached awesome status, but let's take it to epic status by moving over to the panels and then searching for components. Please type SketchUp for School slide and press enter to have the slide appear. Find the yellow slide, click it, and then click in your model so that you can grab it. When you have the move tool selected, there are amazing rotation grips that you can grab and when you touch your cursor to the protractor, it snaps to the degrees you want. So I have moved it to 90 degrees, so now it'll come off our plank. With that same move tool selected, grab the left corner of our component, see how it said endpoint and group, and then snap it to the endpoint of our awesome plank. Using this same technique, let's add cool things like a flag that was created by SketchUp for Schools. Once again, you click and then place it where you want it, adjusting it and moving it till you're happy. Repeat that step again for some stairs and a steering wheel. Any item that you bring in can be the wrong size. To fix that, move to your scale tool and then just use the handles to shrink it to the size you like. Then switch back to your move tool and move your item to where you want it in your play ship. Switch to that orbit tool, spin out and take a good look at your awesome pirate ship playhouse. When you've completed, make sure you click save because you don't want to lose your work and then pat yourself on the back for creating your awesome pirate ship playhouse. We hope you enjoyed the tutorial process and look forward to having you along as we create more exciting projects in the days to come.